So, you want to make some pixel art gradients. Fantastic. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back. Once again, whoo, I'm, I'm out of breath, guys. I ran a marathon. It's, I'm tired. I came in third. Anyway, um, we're going to be doing some pixel art gradients. I'm excited because I like doing gradients. It's always fun. They're always so pretty. And what we're going to do is I'm in a 64 by 64 canvas here. Um, and this works with any, you know, obviously resolution, dimension, but works best in bigger resolution, so not like 16 by 16, that's a little bit too small. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to decide what kind of gradient I want to do. So we're going to do like a blue to purple, I think, today. We're going to do like a bluish to purple. So I'm going to grab my first color, and we're going to hit M on my keyboard, and we're going to just drag open a box and cover all of the top uh, the top square. So all of this stuff stopping at the line there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to bucket fill, which I believe is the G, is the G key. Yeah, it's G by default. I think I don't think I changed it. I can't remember. But the bucket fill fill over here, right here. G for me. Uh, just bucket bucket fill that, and then we'll just you know use it the way that it is right there. And then we'll do the same thing, but with the second layer. So we'll grab this side right here, and we'll like darken the color just a little bit to like a purplish desaturate, darken a little bit, then bucket fill that, and then we'll do the same thing with this next layer, and you can see where we're going here, so I'm just going to make that a little bit more purple, darken, desaturate, maybe a little tiny bit, uh, paint that, that's a little too dark, paint that in, there we go, and then the last one, we do not actually have to uh, drag a box open because it's the last one, and I'm just going to make that like a nice purpley like this, so there we go, I really like the way it looks, it looks pretty cool, um, and what I think we're going to do now is there's a couple different ways you can uh, kind of smooth this out. And my favorite one is probably going to be the last one. But what you can do to start off is you can grab uh, eyedrop the first color, which the eyedropper is right here, or it's P by default, I think. Eyedrop the first color and then just go in and kind of kind of tediously you can do something like this and kind of dither uh, the gradient. So we'll just kind of like, like this, you know, and we'll do every other one. And then on the third row we will kind of drop down a space, right? So then it's not like all touchy touchy, you know? And then we'll drop down maybe two spaces for the next one and kind of, you know, spread it out a little bit. But yeah, you can see how we do some really, really cool uh, dithering like this. And then instead of doing that all the way across, we can just go ahead and hit M to uh, box select all of that right there, then hit Control C control C and then control V to paste that and then just move it over and then you can just hit, keep hitting control V and then moving it over until you have the desired uh, length you know and then select none cool so you can do that and you can do that for all the rest of the layers and everything all the other colors um, and I like that it definitely looks good for some styles but that's not what I want to do so that is a way that's one way you can do it the second way you can do it which I really enjoy is to use the spread feature so over here we have like the blur tool but if I if I go from blur I can just like regularly blur this and that's not very great for pixel art because that I mean it doesn't really look like pixel art anymore it's just like a blurry image so let's undo that I don't like the way it looks at all so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go to the blur tool and then select jumble and now if you see we can if we do this you can see we now are kind of like spreading the pixels out, which is just really, really cool. And I really like the way that this looks. You can make the uh, brush bigger or smaller either by doing it up here or holding down control and then just scrolling your mouse wheel up and down. So I'm going to make it about maybe eight pixels and then we just wipe across each one of these lines. And you see instantly we'll just jumble it all up, scramble it smooth it out i really like the way this looks a lot i think it looks really cool and then if we want to maybe kind of separate uh, sorry separate uh blur these together even more we can uh, go to the eye drop tool once again and then eye drop one of the colors let's say this brighter blue color and then we can go and drop the opacity in half down here and then just hit uh p so i go back to the brush tool and then just kind of maybe uh put a little bit of this in here just click every once in a while just on the line there kind of once it's all jumbled up right like this and then we can go ahead and jumble it again so we'll just jumble that and then you just see we can keep doing this as many times as you really want to until you have uh the level of smoothosity you're looking for so i'm just saying guys like i mean this this is a pretty cool way to get this done i gotta tell you like i really 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 like the way that looks like i think it looks really cool really detailed and it's it's quite simple to do we'll do this one down here as well so that lighter color drop the opacity down 
just click a couple of times there until we have some nice uh, levels of color up and down there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just, uh, I'm just going to blur that. Super, super cool. Very easy to do. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, learned something new today. I just, I really do like this quite a bit. I think it's very neat to do. I'm going to lighten this a little bit and then drop this in half right here. Very, very neat to do. I think it's super cool. Nice way to get gradients um, here in A Sprite or really any pixel art application that has some type of uh, spread kind of feature, I guess you would call it. Very, very cool. And you can keep going down here. We can have even lighter pinks, you know, we can have something like, like this down here, you know, we'll just kind of do that. And then we can just spread it like this. Very, very, very cool stuff. That's a little too bright, but you get the picture. Very cool. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then. Bye-bye.